Hey all, welcome to my channel. This is Joyce from This That Creations. We're gonna do Dollar Tree today. Enjoy the little things DIY number one. Subscribe and like. So we're gonna use our Dixie Belle drop cloth, some boxwood, maybe that scarf, maybe not, maybe those pumpkins, you'll have to see. I have a tote that says, enjoy the little things. And finally, yes, finally, I found this pumpkin at my Dollar Tree. It's very rare. We don't have very much there, but I got some <laughs> super excited. Anyway, so we're gonna take off this leaf. It comes, just pops right off. We will use it, but I don't wanna use it right there and right now. Now I'm gonna use Dixie Belle, like I said, drop cloth. I love this color. I highly suggest it. We're gonna give it full coverage. And as you can see, I'm gonna heat it in between. So I end up doing two coats, two coats, voila, here we go. <laughs> I hope everyone's enjoying their day and I hope you enjoy the little things. I'm like, what, wait, I didn't record me cutting it out of the tote. Let me show you what I did. So it's a tote for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I loved it right when I saw it. And I just cut around the piece that I want I cut off the handle because we will use that. So this girl didn't hit record, but move on. I'm choosing to go ahead and cut right around the letters. You can do it however you like. This is what I wanted to do. I love that blue and white. So of course I'm gonna use my Waverly Antique Wax. Gonna use my lid. Of course, that's what I always do. Look how good that drop cloth looks. That's what I'm showing you. Now I'm just gonna define the pumpkin. Just start off lightly, making little curves with my antique Waverly wax and a paintbrush, a small one, just out of my stash. We're gonna do both sides. I kinda of skip ahead, excuse me. And I'm gonna do the edges, of course, just to define it more and give it a little more character. Looks a little rough, just be patient. Now I did the stem I change it later, you'll see. So I'm gonna take a baby wipe and I'm gonna lightly go over that darkened area just to lighten up a little bit around the edges and I'll do it to the stem as well. And I'm like, hmm, I put a little bit of more drop cloth coverage on and thought I'm just gonna take my baby wipe and dip it into my antique wax and go lightly over and just go with it and get creative and make the original lines if that makes sense. And you're like, whoop, mm, yep, a little too much choice. Mm, wipe that off. It comes off easy and you can fix it. Just go with it. I'm just gonna blend it all in, as you can see. I love this look. You gotta trust the process and just keep going. It ends up turning out looking great. See, now you can see a whole bunch of defi definition. And I covered up my stem a little bit. And I'm just going to define it again with the antique Waverly wax. Hey, change your mind. It's all right. Fix things. You don't like it. Change it around. Get creative. Just be you. Now I got a sponge. I got these at Harbor Freight, a whole bunch of them, um, like what, eight for like 10 bucks. I'm going to sand around the edges just to give it a worn look. And then I'm going to sand all over just to make it all cohesive. I'm gonna use my Mod Podge. I'm gonna put it on the back and flip it over. I love how that pumpkin looks. Blended really well. Smooth it out. Fabric is really easy. It doesn't get as many wrinkles in it. Now I always go back around the edges if they're up a little bit, just to secure them more. And then I'll put my Mod Podge over it as well, just to hold that thing right in place. Look how cute. Now that leaf, I sand, I'm sanding, yes, sanding it down and roughing it up. I'm gonna put Mod Podge on it because you know, sometimes that chalk paint and metal does not stick well. So I'm gonna Mod Podge it, dry it with my handy dandy tool that's in my description. There's a link down below, check it out. I love it. Now I'm gonna paint that leaf, as you can see, in drop cloth. Paint it all over. 
Now I'm going to add some Ocean by Waverly chalk paint. I'm just going to dry brush on there just to give it some character. And if you make little mistakes, you can fix it. Like me, I went all wonky one way. But hey, take a little more drop cloth just to mute it a little bit. Now I got this raffia. I got a huge bundle at the thrift store for like a dollar. Like red, blue, purple. I mean, mixed colors, natural. So I picked out blue and natural. I'm just going to tie it, as you can see, around the stem. Fight with it a little bit. Let's make a little simple shoelace bow. I'm not very good at that. I can tie my shoes, but when you put me on camera to tie a simple shoelace bow, <laughs> this girl runs into problems. It is the funniest thing. I'm just tighten it up and I'm like, no, flip you around. You don't look good. So just, just go with it. That's what I say. Sometimes you just mess with it and it turns out adorable. Now I'm gonna cut off all the wonkies. I'm like, hmm, you know, look, there's more wonkies there. You could do a rag bow or whatever you'd like. I wanted to use the raffia because I had this fun colors. And of course, I'm going to tear the raffia apart. Now listen, I mess with this bow more than I probably should. But me and bows, we have issues. It's a love-hate relationship. I'm going to get better. So I decided to make it all cohesive and blend all together. I'm going to put antique wax with my baby wipe, of course, from my lid on this sleeve. And it totally just makes it all go together. I'm like, hmm, I'm going to glue down this raffia bowl just to hold it in place, fix it some more. Just place that little leaf right on the center. And look at this. It turned out so cute. I love it. Absolutely love it. I love that I finally found those Dollar Tree pumpkins to make my own. Look how super cute. Imagine what you could do. All right, guys, DIY number two, Grateful. We're going to use Drop Cloth by Dixie Belle. These little styrofoam pumpkins with the sunflowers. This Grateful scarf I fell in love with. I was at the check stand. I was like, oh, I need that and some dry wood. So you're just gonna pop that sunflower right off. Comes off super simple. I will save that, of course. We're gonna paint our pumpkins in drop cloth all over, full coverage. You won't see it, but I don't want any of that orange seeping through. <laughs> I just don't like it. That's just me. If you do, that's all right. So full coverage, put it on a skewer on the end of a paintbrush makes it super simple look at that mm -hmm. yep now i got a zacto knife i got from the dollar tree i'm going to cut a circle out in the center just cut away a little bit be careful of course you don't want to cut your fingers or anything and i pull out some and i thought hmm i'm over this zacto knife I'm going to use a screwdriver and just dig it out the hole that I want. <laughs> Girl's impatient sometimes, I guess. But hey, it worked. So dig, dig. There we go. So there it is, a scarf. It's so cute. I love the scarf. All this blue and white says grateful on it. I'm going to show you. Well, kind of show you. Oh, wait, flip it over. Grateful. So I just lay my pumpkin in the center. I cut off a piece of the scarf. Super simple. Push in on both on the sides. You can see what I'm doing. It's easier to watch, I suppose. So pinch in, fold over, and just stuff all that. It, whatever. <laughs> stuff it in. <laughs> stuff in all that scarf. It's really easy. It's not too stiff. It's flimsy. Works perfectly. I love this little grateful pumpkin. It's so easy. I know you've all seen this before, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing with some of my Dollar Tree finds. I don't even cut it off. I just shove it all in there because it works. So you can cut it off if you want. And I'm going to take my hot glue, my Gorilla hot glue, and my little dry, piece of dry wood. Driftwood, driftwood, 
<laughs> driftwood people that I found out by the river. And I'm going to use that because I like that natural organic look. So you could use a cork, whatever you want. Push it in, make sure it stays. I love how wonky the stem is. See, cute. Now back to that handle on that tote. I'm going to use that and just make a basic bow. You know me and those shoelace bows. The struggle is real. This is how simple I'm going to glue it on. Look how cute. I mean, just how simple it could be just to make a cute decoration for your home. Now I'm going to use that um, tote bag. It's kind of like drop cloth material. I'm going to do the same thing as I just did with that grateful scarf and stuff it in. This does not move as easily though. So I got to kind of adjust and stuff and adjust and stuff. Then I have one piece. I'm like, mm -mm, I'm just going to glue you down. Nobody's going to know. So use your little finger protector from the Dollar Tree and push that down. And we're going to use another um, driftwood as again. This girl and her speaking sometimes. So I cut out a piece that said grateful and I kind of want to give it a rough look and tear it a little bit. So that's what I'm doing here. Cut off your little pieces that are extra. I want the grateful to show. So I'm going to glue it around the stem and glue one little piece and wrap it so that the grateful can be red, if that makes sense. And fight with it a little bit. Pull, tug. Well, there it goes. It worked. But to make sure that the grateful can be red, I'm going to glue it down so it doesn't flip around. This is so simple, but I love this grateful scarf and I wanted to do something with it. And back to a regular little shoelace bow. <coughs> Excuse me. I made out of twine. We're going to glue that on the stem and there you have it. Voila. They're done. Super simple. Love the Dollar Tree scarf and the tote bag. Look how cute. Just sitting on your mantle. Especially if you want to do the blue and white. All right. Welcome fall DIY number three. Make sure if you're enjoying, you subscribe, you like, you hit that bell, all the good stuff. Now this pumpkin I got at the thrift store, I can't find the bigger ones at my Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree is a little sad. So I found this. We're going to paint it with a course. What? The Dixie Belle drop cloth. They all go together. So we're going to get full coverage on this pumpkin. It's a little rough, a little worn, kind of like me. So full coverage. I end up only doing one coverage and it works great. Maybe a couple coats on it, certain spots. Now I have this leaf I pulled off a stem I had in my stash. It was kind of like a bronze. I painted that with a drop cloth as well. I'm going to take my antique Waverly wax and I'm getting those crevices. Not too much, but a little bit just to define it a little bit. It's a little sloppy. We just want to get in the crevices and we'll fix it in a minute. You'll see. Just trust the process people. It's all good. I love this antique Waverly wax in case you didn't know. Now we're going to take our drop cloth and dip it in once and just go over this pumpkin just to cover it up a little bit and make it all blend together. Makes it look, look a little worn and defines it a little more in the crevices. I'm sure there's a word. I don't know what it is, but you see what I'm doing. Now we're going to take care of that stem and we're going to paint that as well in our antique Waverly wax Then take our baby wipe and kind of wipe some of it off. Now I got this welcome fall. I got in a set of like five or six, I don't know, different sayings at the Dollar Tree. So excited that I found these. Y'all don't even know how my Dollar Tree is. So when I say I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm taking ocean or I took ocean a minute ago and I used my baby wipe and just went over the wood piece. Take this leaf that I already put some antique Waverly wax on that I obviously didn't record. Put a little blue on it. Now I have the Spanish moss and I have a lot. I love it. It's messy. I'm going to glue it around the stem, cut off all the little wonkies, you know, the normal stuff. 
just to your liking until you're happy. You can use something else or not put any on there at all. I'm going to place that leaf we painted with the blue antique Waverly wax and drop cloth. And look how cute. Now I to take, take people, take two pieces of the twine from the Dollar Tree. It's a thin kind. And yes, make another bow. <laughs> supposed to be simple not always so we're going to glue that on to our leaf and our stem move some of that Spanish moss sometimes I just like the simple bows and you know you can do a big old bow if you want you just be you I'm going to cut off some of that shoelace bow from the twine glue on my welcome fall you can't really see here but wait a minute I realize this, oh, there it is. And I'm like, hmm, that's kind of plain. We need to add some, some. So we're gonna take our Spanish moss, glue it and shove it in both sides. And I end up loving, loving how this looks. And I'm like, hmm, need a little more. So I add a little more and I absolutely, like I just said, I love how the moss comes out of the welcome fall. Love it. Look, I'm like, hmm, it's cute. Yep, I like it. Simple and kind of plain, but I like it. But I'm like, hmm, a little more. Let's add a little more. Why not? Pull off the ones. I love Spanish moss, guys, but it is so messy. Messy, messy. Look how stinking cute that turned out. Simple, but it just makes such a statement. I love it. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I usually do thrift flips, but I found some cute stuff at my Dollar Tree and had a blast doing these. So if you enjoy it, I hope you return, share all the good stuff, and I hope y'all have a good day. If days like these last